Hello, hello, and happy Monday to all of my amazing Virgos. Virgos, hopefully you all had a great weekend with this full moon energy, and then Venus went retrograde yesterday, and I hope today you make it an even better day. Let's get right into your reading, Virgos, so you can stay focused and get through these holidays and get through just life right on your terms. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Virgos as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality, and where my Virgos need to take action. Virgos, let's get into your general reading. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Yes, Virgos, let's go. Gods in human form of which you are Virgos, and I want you to remember that because when planets go retrograde, we know by now that they don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. But it can cause some, some you know, disturbance or disruption in people's lives. We want to make sure you stay focused, right? And not operating in fear because I'm seeing somebody operating in fear. Oh, my goodness. All right. So here we have the Wheel of Fortune. On this part, it says the Wheel, but it's the Wheel of Fortune, which is attached to the planet Jupiter. This is about expansion. We have the Lover's Card, which is attached to Gemini. <clears throat> we have the Hangman, which is attached to the planet Neptune. We have the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Devil Card. And we also have the Ace of Cups, right? So no big shocker here that you all have a really, really, really big heart. You love hard and you love deep, right? Especially people that are really close to you, your family, people that keep you rooted and grounded, right? So I see a lot of you all, your money is about to increase, but somebody is scared. Like somebody is really nervous. This is where you want to embrace all sides of yourself, like really embrace it. That's what Gemini card is really about, embracing the divine masculine within yourselves. Plus, this is your, this is uh, you and Gemini share a ruling, your ruling planet, Mercury, right, Virgos? So this is where you want to embrace the side of yourself that is masculine as well as the divine feminine. So you'll know when, because this is the, oh, uh, excuse me, Mercury is the communication planet. This is where you want to tap into your magician skills, like make things happen, right? So you'll know when to speak and when to just be back and let, sit back and listen. You'll know when to act and you'll know when to uh, when to just kind of sort of be in receiving mode, right? But you, because you have will of fortune in your favor, you have time and the will of fortune in your favor. So be patient with the process. Don't get nervous and scared through this whole process because, like I said, more money is coming your way, and you don't want to come off as a person who is bitter and cold and hurtful because you have to be patient with this. And fear is ruling the show, right? Because again, fear is serious. Like that false evidence that seems real, like oh, it's not happening when it's supposed to happen you don't need to get nervous it's happening it's already in the works but keep in mind some things that have happened already virgos some things that have happened are um, venus is retrograde that's libra and taurus is ruling planet we know that venus is the planet of love and pleasure but it also is the planet of creativity of money of your values your sentiments how you create what brings you pleasure, aesthetics, art and music, romance, attraction, sexual desires, cooperation, relationships, all relationships, your professional ones, your personal ones, your your, your uh, romantic ones, you know, and um, well, that will fall under personal, like platonic and romantic will fall under personal relationships. But again, what brings you enjoyment? So that's what I'm saying to you. If you have, depending on like where Venus is in your chart, it could be affecting you, right? And so be mindful of that. Go pull your full birth chart. You can go to uh, cafeastrology.com. I believe the name is the name of the website. Pull your full birth chart. See what's going on there, right? So first of all, you want to... Um, here's a ritual for you. You can actually write a letter of gratitude um, um, to... 
your loved ones or people like a like a note of gratitude to your loved ones dear so and so i want to just say thank you for being such a great person or you know for the past whatever amount of time they've been there because that's going to help you just stay grounded like like really really stay grounded this is where your discernment like you you have the eye of the hawk your discernment is like real keen right now because we're still in that full moon energy you want to be in that posture of gratitude you want to just focus on what you're grateful for because this is again life is a series of tests and so it's testing to see life is testing to see if you can be patient to wait for exactly what it is you want do you want to be in a romantic relationship you have time and money in your favor do you want to travel time and money is in your favor do you want you know even if you're not interested in a romantic relationship do you want to and learn how to embrace all sides of yourself time and money is in your favor fear doesn't even have to factor into any of this right yeah, so the full moon energy, like I said, we're still very much full moon energy is actually illuminating the and the empowerment within you so that you can untangle, you know, your past with objectivity, right? You want to be objective. You want to step outside of yourselves and I'm talking about spiritually. Step outside of yourself, look at your whole life and from an object, objective standpoint, right? Not subjective where you're putting all your emotions and feelings like step outside of like you're looking at somebody else's life. And just evaluate all parts of your life. It's going to full, bring everything into full focus, right? So you can deal with past wounds, um, harmful, just the stories of your life that could have caused all kinds of wounds. Again, you want to embrace all sides of yourself. You have time. You have time and money in your favor. So don't, don't cause yourselves to be so stressed out. We have 39 more days for um, before Venus goes retrograde, and that's why we're going to do the number 39 on today. But yeah, that's that full moon brings into focus even things that you've been suppressing. That is why right now I'm telling you this is a he healthy outlet. You want to this is a healthy ritual for you. Focus on, and I'm talking about writing down the things that you're grateful for. And if there's some people around your life, around I mean, in your life that you want to say, hey, I just want to just send you a note of thanks. I'm really grateful for you. I'm grateful for you being in my life. You know, they would love to hear from you. People think that um, divine feminine signs are just sitting there waiting for things to happen for them. This is where you tap into your divine masculine side of yourself, right? Here we have the eight of wands and watch how quickly you see things happen. Time really is an illusion, but guess what? It's in your favor. It's in your favor. That time that you're looking at, you're looking at the clock. Remember, and I say it's an illusion, but when you, as an earth sign, you know, you're looking at the clock saying, well, it's been one days, two days, three days, four days. Like, when is it going to happen? And so when it happens, because it's going to happen rather quickly, that's why I'm giving you steps to do. Virgo, writing things down for you is going to be paramount. It's really, really key because you need to see it. Write it down. Write down. I already know that it's happening. I know I'll be traveling. I know my money is going to look better. I know I'm going to find my person if you're interested in finding a person. If not, I, but either way, I'm embracing all sides of myself. I'm stepping outside and looking at my life from an objective standpoint. And I'm going to focus on the things that I'm grateful for. Plus, you have a guardian angel putting fire up under you, right? So look at this. Your guardian angel trumps this, this demonic energy. Matter of fact, this demonic energy is coming down. So if there's anybody around you that's creating like creating doubt and fear and causing you to um causing you to be afraid that things are not going to work out for you those are the voices that you want to silence not those voices you want to focus on the people who are uplifting you motivating you not and, and I'm not talking about people who are placating you I'm talking about people who are like adding just you know stay focused Virgo you got this you got this it's happening people that are rooting for you rooting you on rooting for your accomplishments wanting you to win I mean genuinely wanting you to win you know here we have the um two of pentacles I see you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money and I'm talking about people who genuinely want you to win not because they're looking for what they can get out of it I mean genuinely just they don't want anything from you other than just to see you win right yes right here we have the eight of swords 
So you're going to be looking back very soon and see how restricted you felt. A lot of times people stay in this place of misery because they don't know the proper steps and tools to help them balance out their own energy because they're like, they, well, I don't see it yet. It's not happening. How come the money I've been waiting for is not happening? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, and I don't see myself traveling. How can I balance my, my life out? Again, this is about balance. You all are receivers by default. And when I say receivers, receivers of all energy. So that's a bad energy, good energy, and everything between. You're a receiver of bad and good. So you have to determine which is which. This is like, okay, don't bring me any bad news. What movie was that from? It was like, I want to say like The Wiz or The Wizard of Oz. Don't bring me any bad news. Unless it's something motivational and uplifting. I'm all, I'm in my Zen. I'm feeling positive. I'm, this is, it's Monday. Again, Mondays are very stressful for some people. The holidays are some str very stressful, but this is what I see the outcome for you all feeling very happy, magnetic, and free. See how this person is grounding. They got their arms raised up to the sun, removing all that stale energy from them. Y'all have a lot of major life changes happening. So I'm telling you, you're not going to be feeling like this for long. Just try it, Virgos. Just try it. Seriously, just try it. Try to think about, like, look at your whole life objectively and start seeing, you know what? Let me focus on what I'm grateful for. The things that are low vibrational in my life, I really can just bury those things for good. Like, just bury that mindset for good. Even if you can't end some of the family relationships and you're like, well, that's my family um, or that's this and that's that. And I, I don't feel like I can, you know, like um, sever ties with that completely. You can bury that emotion. And I'm not talking about being in denial. I'm talking about choosing what to focus on. Like I'm going to focus on who I'm grateful for, even if they're not my blood relatives, even if I just met them and they've been speaking positivity and uplifting whatever into my life, I'm going to focus on that. That's what I'm going to focus on. That's what I see you choosing to change your focus. And, and writing yourself a letter of gratitude, even if you're saying, dear self, you know, I just want to say thank you for being such a great person, right? For achieving X, Y, and Z. Start with that. Start by writing yourself a letter and then maybe texting or emailing somebody that you really, you know, has just been nothing but pouring positivity into your life. You choose what you want. Let's pull this Oracle card and see what we have. Create, create art. Yes. We all are all creators, right? So the number um, 17 reduces to eight. Eight is the money exchange number. I'm telling you, you all are very, very close to monetary, um, you know, your, your money coming your way, the energy of money coming your way. You got to stay focused. When these planets go retrograde, it really changes a lot of things around people. And so you have to be master of your own universe. You're a God in human form, but you're not other people's God. So when other people are out of sync and out of alignment, uh, they can't see the joy in their lives. They feel like their money is being disrupted. Um, how they create may seem stifled. What brings them pleasure may not bring them pleasure right now during this time. Again, you want to create balance in your own life by self-care. That's how you're going to create balance in your own life, giving yourself care, right? During this time, choosing who you're going to be receiving from. The number 39 is very, very important because the number 39 means that you are gentle and you love humanity. It means that you want to be of service to others in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It means that you want to make the world a kinder, gentler, better place in which to live. That's what you visualize with the vibration of the number 39. That is what I have for you, Virgos. Continue thriving. Continue having a fantastic day. Continue setting your intentions. And again, switch your focus away from all the naysayers that's creating false evidence appearing real and focus only on the people who are pouring goodness into you, motivating you, keeping you, but first pour it into yourself by writing yourself a dear Virgo. I want to say thank you for being such a great person for the past. Then you put the number of years you've been in this realm for the, for that number of years. And then go into why you feel like you're a great person. I'm talking about from an objective standpoint, what have you accomplished? That's what you want to do, Virgos. And then go about looking at the people, you know, in your life that have continued to pour motivation into you because you never know what they were going through and they're still pouring motivation into you. So yeah, 
that's how you balance it out, Virgos. Have a great one. See you on Wednesday. Bye.